Hi guys, this is Dr. Joseph from Christianity School of Management. Today I have a data sheet to teach you how to insert a chart for um, <coughs> a table. So here we have a table with two columns. One has uh, the years from 2007 to 2016 and the other column has the sales details for uh, those period. So we'll see three things. One is inserting a chart. Second is to add a trend line. And a third is to use a forecast function to predict sales for 2017, 18, and 19. <coughs> Excuse me. So now to insert the chart, first you have to click inside the table. Click inside the table anywhere. And then you go to the menu bar. You go to the insert menu. Click on insert menu. And then when you come to the chart section, there's a button called as recommended charts. When you click on that, Excel will recommend you based on the what type of data you have. So here we have four recommendations from Excel. But since we have sales on time, I am preferring the line chart. <coughs> what you have to do is you have to just select the chart what you want and then you have to press on the button OK. And then you have the chart on the screen. Uh, so I will explain the chart. The chart is primarily a couple of items primarily it has two areas one is the plot area and another one is the chart area so if i move my um, mouse in uh, near the plot it says it is the plot area and when i move my mouse uh, away from the plot it says it's a chart area so this rectangle is the plot area and the outer rectangle is the chart area and uh, <coughs> this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis and here on the x-axis we have the years from 2007 to 2016 and the y-axis we have the sales and this is our plot the line which is showing the data what we have in the table format and this is the title for the chart <coughs> and these are the grid lines generally it's uh, the grid lines are not preferred because while printing that will uh, that will also be printed so if you have to remove that, I'll show you how to remove it. You have to just click on the grid line and you can see all the grid lines are being selected and then you have to just press the delete button on the keyboard. Once you press the delete button, the grid lines disappear. <coughs> and then uh, uh, if you want to add data labels, when you click on the chart, you will get a plus symbol on the side of the chart. When you click on that, you will have a list of chart elements where you see that's a uh, option called as chart labels you click on it to give a tick mark on the checkbox and then you see here now your uh, plot has all the data points with data labels data labels are nothing but the names for your uh, data points so all these are the sales figures which are there on the table <coughs> and um, whatever you see in the chart you can format it uh, suppose now I want to change the title of this chart. What you will do is you to just double click on the title, and now you will be able to edit it. So I will, I want to give a name as uh, sales across years. So you can give any title over there, and you can format it as well. If you want to format something on the chart. First, you have to select. Say, so for example, you want to format the data label, you have to click on that. If you want to format the data series, you have to click on that. Select so like the whichever area you want to format, first you have to click. So now I am clicking on the chart title. I have to go to the home menu. We already know the formatting options. So now I want to change this color. I am giving a dark uh, maroon color. And then let me bold it. And then the axis. I want to bold it and then want to give a black color. Same for the x-axis. <coughs> and uh, data labels, I want to bold it and give a black color. So <coughs> then if you want to format the data series line, you click on that line. Uh, right click on that line and then you will get a small menu where you have this option format uh, data series. Click on that and then you will get a pane which uh, carries couple of options to format your uh, data series and here is the fill 
bracket when you click on there are two options one is to format the line and one is to format the markers the markers are this portion where you have the data points <coughs> so first let me go with the line I go for the solid line and then I am going to change the color of that line and then I go to the marker where I go to fill and then I give a solid fill and then uh, I select a different uh, uh, shape for it I'll change the color <coughs> so I can increase the size now you can see the markers much visible so this is how we format the data series and then of course the chart and the plot area can be formatted if you require suppose if you want to format the chart area you have to click on the chart area if you want to format the plot area you have to click on the plot area so you can see here when I click on the chart area the options changes to format chart area so I am going to <coughs> give a texture for that you can choose any texture and here we have the plot area I want to give a gradient fill <coughs> excuse me <coughs> and then you can give a 3d effect as well if you want so I want to give a 3d effect for my chart area so here we have the 3d format and then you can select any options and then you can increase the but you can see here the 3D option appears over there. <coughs> Same way you can also give a 3D appearance for your plot area. And you can just project it out. <coughs> so these are just formatting options. You can experiment with various options. And of course you can change all this um, font uh, type as well. So the, our second objective is to add a trend line. <coughs> Adding trend line is very simple in um, 2013 Excel. You click on the chart area over to this plus sign. When you click over there, you get the chart element list where you have <coughs> the option trend line. When you click on that, you'll get the trend line. And then when you move your mouse on the trend line, you get a sub menu over there. <coughs> when you click on that, you have more options. When you click on that, you get the options for the trend line and where. Um, you can even format the trend line with uh, a dotted line or a connected line you can change its width size all those things you can change <coughs> you can add uh, editing option as well when you click on the last option which is the trend line option we have a couple of trend lines we uh, go for the linear trend line and then our task is to predict the sales for 2017 <coughs> So uh, we need to do a prediction for that. So when you go on the trend line option over here, you can just come down. There you have this option forecast, where you have forward period. Forecast forward period. You have point, uh, 0, 0.0. I change it to 1.0. <coughs> then when you click outside, you can see here the trend line being extended for the next um, year. So this point is the prediction for the next year. So that is our second task. Our third task is to use the forecast function to predict for the sales for the year 2017, 18 and 19. So let me prepare the uh, <coughs> data table for 2017, 18 and 19. Let me give some borders to it. <coughs> and then here we should include the forecast function. So before we insert a function or formula, we should start with the equal to symbol. And when I type FORE, you get the forecast function. I double click on that. I can see Excel is asking for three inputs X, known Ys, and known X. <coughs> so <coughs> X is our uh, years, we have it in the X axis, Y is our sales. So here we want to forecast it, forecast for the year 2017. So I just click on this cell, which is uh, A12. Uh, when once you give the first input, you should separate it with a comma and a space. 
and then we have to give the known wise wise are the sales value so the known values are from sales from 2007 to 2016 <clears throat> so second input is given comma space third input is known x that is from 2007 to 16 years so after this i have to close the bracket press enter and now we got the forecasted value for 2017 and i just double click on that now i got the forecasted value for 2018 and 2019 so this is how we <coughs> insert a chart add a trend and I also use the forecast function thank you for watching join me for the next video if you like the video please do like it and um, subscribe my channel and also share it meet you in the next video thank you so much